Alrighty folks. Uh, what we have here is a little experimental setup um, for a battery charger design that was published uh, by a gentleman on one of the um, EV forums and uh, I decided today just to have a little play with the circuit uh, just to see what it actually does so the theory behind it um, is that you can take the power straight out of your grid in this case you just got a 13 amp 240 volts uh, ply here and you can charge any battery um, from that uh, by hooking up a suitable capacitor such as this type which is uh, what they call a uh, oh, what is it a motor capacitor Rome that is and you basically um, you just take your grid power in single phase AC in this case 240 volts 50 hertz you just bring that into your capacitor you come out of your capacitor into a, a um, rectifier and out of that straight into whatever battery uh, that you're trying to charge. Now what this gives you then is basically a DC current source. It's not a charger in the, in the strictest sense because what it's doing is uh, it's holding the AC current back by means of capacitive reactance and um, because the AC input is a lot higher than whatever um, battery voltage you're trying to charge it basically pushes current uh, through the circuit up to the uh, up to the maximum uh, that your capacitor uh, bank has been set, set, set up for so what I've been been doing here uh, a few experiments and the first battery I've been charging here has been this just this is an old uh, 12 volt 12 amp hour gel I've also charged some headway lithium iron phosphate cells and I have also charged uh, this 48 volt bank of AGM 12 volt batteries that I had set up here for uh, for doing some testing on the um, motor controller. So what I also happen to have uh, here is this capacitor bank. Uh, there are six uh, 50 microfarad Siemens uh, PFC caps in here. Hopefully we'll be able to see all that. There we go. Siemens power quality. These came out of a big three phase uh, um, UPS. I'm trying to get a better view of that. So they're 50, 50 um, microfarad, 400 volts AC capacitors. Now, there's a formula that you can calculate uh, capacitive reactance from um, but I just did a few simple iterative experiments and I have found that you get approximately three and a half amps AC uh, for for every 50 um, every 50 microfarads of capacitance that you have in your AC circuit so with this setup here, uh, I get between 10 and 11 amps as I have these three capacitors hooked up in parallel. In parallel, if I hooked them all up, I could get about 30 to 33 amps um, out of that. That 
set up. <coughs> so, <coughs> what kind of pushed me to try this uh, circuit out was that I had a slight problem with the onboard charger on the car a couple of days ago and I could have easily been uh, stranded if I didn't have a part to actually fix it. So I just kind of was thinking that it would be a good idea to have a backup with a very simple type of a current source charger uh, that I could just dump energy quickly into the battery um, just to get me a certain distance or something such as that uh, or to just basically get me to a uh, a place that I could buy a part or something or you know just to have um, a kind of a simple backup charger and this certainly seems to be doing the trick now <clears throat> obviously it's got a lot of problems it's not isolated it's got a horrible power factor all this kind of thing but I'm not talking about having this thing on 24 7 um, the simplicity of it I think uh, I think kind of tends to out hey and you definer problems um, and as far as having a kind of a simple dump charger um, it seems to function quite good so I've just got an ammeter on the AC side uh, I've got a volt meter on this gel here so about 12.27 and uh, we don't have any current flow going on here so oh yeah and I have a owl power meter here and it's currently telling us that my house uh, is taking just under 600 watts of power and that includes the shed here so I'm going to throw the switch And as you can see, we have just under 11 amps uh, of current, and we're uh, we're we're certainly charging our uh, our gel battery there. Now, as you can see, the voltage is going up um, because this is a current source. There is no um, voltage control here, so that's obviously a downside to this um, but just to show the functions of it um, one thing I'm thinking of doing is that I could have a system here that you can uh, change the config of these caps um, obviously to change the current that you'd be supplying but to do a kind of a very crude voltage control uh, which would be also possible um, now at the minute we'll see that our power consumption has gone up to two and a half kilowatts now so that's because we're pulling some serious juice here and uh, as you see the voltage continues to climb there because we don't have any kind of control over that now just to show something here if I was to turn the power off now that's the power off if I was to disconnect two of the uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand here and there's another important facet of this is too is that you need a bleeder resistor uh, to go across the caps because they will hold a DC charge for a long time so if we were to do that, we'll now bring our current back to about three and a half amps. So if I turn back on, we'll see that we're now down at uh, oops, the daisy. There we go. With a single 50 microfarad capacitor at three and a half amps, and my multimeter is messing me about again. There we go. As we can see that smaller current now has us back at 13 volts uh, charging, 3.5 amps, 
and our power consumption uh, is down to just under a kilowatt. Now obviously about half of that is taken up by the house at the minute. Um, so that's us charging that little gel battery there at three and a half amps. So as you can see there is the potential there for a very crude kind of a voltage control um, so I'm going to have an in investigation on that. Um, so that's just charging a gel. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up now to this 40, 48 volt uh, bank here. And we'll show hopefully that it'll be um, charging that um, um, equally successfully. Okay, so we're hooked up to the 48 volt bank now and we're delivering just under 10 amps to it. I'm on one of the 12 volt batteries there. You can see it's coming up slowly there in a pretty discharged state. That's us hooked on there now. You'll see that power consumption jump up there it goes back to our two and a half kilowatts so the charger at the minute is responsible for about two of those kilowatts which if you think about it 10 amps 240 volts kind of uh, kind of um, makes sense so that's it actually charging that now as you can see the current here is a little bit smaller then the current when we're just charging that gel and that's because we're we're now at about a 48 volt uh, setting here so that's gotten us closer to the um, peak value of the AC which is I think it's around 312 volts or something to that effect <coughs> but we're still able uh, with just three, with just the, those three capacitors there to pump um, to pump 10 amps into it. You can see our voltage is starting to uh, increase there happily. Now this uh, module here has got some of these terminal posts on it here, so I'm gonna set these caps up in banks of three so I can change the current uh, setting just by means of taps on them. Um, yeah, it's only a little bit of a heat sink there for the um, rectifier. It's perfectly happy. So I'm going to see about getting this capacitor bank sorted out and do a test charge in the car with it. It should be on 160 volts, 165 volts fully charged. Uh, so it should be, be interesting to see uh, if I can if I can do that but unfortunately as you can probably hear the um, um, rain is coming down pretty hard at the minute. And fun though it would be to drag this thing outside and hook it up to a high voltage traction battery and AC grid supply at the same time in the rain. Well, it would probably be the final video that I ever did, so we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to do that just as yet. So I've also charged these couple of headway cells with it. It doesn't have any problem doing that. So uh, it'd be quite it'd be quite interesting to bring it on to um, to uh, point of charging the car. So I'll do a couple more experiments and then we'll do a bit of a video with that. And uh, I'll be hooking it up probably to a 32 amp supply for that. So we'll be going on to this to, to this but this big uh, 32 amp 240 volt socket here. So. Uh, Stay tuned. Okay folks, we are now on 32 amp supply and uh, 
as I'm hoping you can see, we need every bit of it. Charging this single AGM here, uh, just on there, we're at 7.6 kilowatts of power from the 240 volts, and the battery is up just over 13 volts there now. I'd say I'm going to be heating the bridge up a good bit, but so far it's not uh, it's not having any huge problem. So that's it. All those caps now are in parallel. Um, we're pushing just under 32 amps, which is about the capacity of the circuit that I have this on here. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that circuit breaker trip out uh, sometime soon. So I'm going to go ahead now and hook it up to the 48 volts and see what that does. See if we can still get 32 amps going in there. Okay, we're now on the 48 volt set up here. 7.5 kilowatts again. And we are pushing. Come on, come on. Just under 29 amps there now. So there is a drop off uh, when we bring the voltage up closer um, to the. Uh, mains which you would expect there to be again just on that battery there 13.05 uh, this heatsink is warming up all right definitely it's a 35 amp bridge so it's been pushed quite hard a little bit of fan cooling or something would solve that problem but that's just a big version and uh, as we can see it's capable of pushing current when you need to push current and, uh, about 29 amps there now on the AC side of things and uh, yeah about seven and a half kilowatts about seven kilowatts of that from the charger maybe 6.9 6.8 but close enough to seven and uh, that's all folks, so try this out on the car with the higher voltage pack. Uh, should be be interesting to see how much current that we can get. Okay, that's it for today.